Hello, my name is Jamal Purvis, and I'm a solutions engineer for Intellisys, a scan source company. And today I'm going to walk you through a new product for healthcare, or multiple uses for that matter. But we're going to focus on the healthcare aspect. This product is coming from Axis. Axis is one of the world premier and one of the largest and most productive physical security manufacturers out there. They've been known for solid camera systems, solid access control systems, recording software, VMS platforms, and now they've ventured into network audio. So why do you think network audio will be useful? Well, in a healthcare environment, it's one quick way of getting your conversation and a communication from point A to point B in a very fast way. So what we're going to do is we're going to look at the C1410 mini network speaker, not the full size because the full size can be pretty big. And I'm going to show you basically what it looks like out of the box. This is it. You have the actual cover shell and the physical speaker itself. Now, a couple of things before we get into the speaker, I want to make sure you understand if you happen to pick this up, not to throw away these three things. We got a manual here, quick start guide, definitely got to have that. Tells you how to set it up. The next thing is going to be your actual authentication key. Make sure you do not throw away that. That key is very important when it goes through the setup process. And the last thing is if you're using Access Camera Station at a clinic or a hospital, you get a free license. And that is important too, because you don't want to have something where you have to scrounge around trying to figure out how to set it up. And then all of a sudden you've forgotten through this away and you got to pay for another license. So as we look at this, I'm going to take this out of this bag here. This is your shell. It's a very simple plastic shell. It's a polycarbonate here. The nice thing about it is it's got its grill, of course, for the speaker. There's another hole here, which is for the IR sensor. That sensor is designed specifically for the IR sensor that's on here. We're going to talk about how to use that in a minute. And there's a little one right here. And this guy is basically its microphone because this is a two-way speaker. So now I can actually have a conversation between the individual in the room that the speaker's in and the security station or nurse station if you're going to use it in that capacity. The nice thing about this, because it is an easy to remove unit, is you can actually paint this. Um, because of the polycarbonate, you can find pretty simple paint to kind of paint it so you can make it blend in very well within the actual environment that you're going to use it in. As we look into the speaker, and you'll see here, this is the actual speaker unit itself. You see it's got the actual cover, so I'm going to pull this off. And then there's your speaker. You have your IR sensor here, which is going to be used in a lot of different ways. The biggest thing I think you're going to see a hospital or medical center might use this in is for those areas of sensitive nature where you know they have to kind of have a security pass. You can have this IR sensor be monitoring for any kind of movement or motion. Um, depending on use case, it could be one in each individual room, and this could be another way for you to communicate between the patient and the nurse station. So there's a lot of different uses that you can use, not only just for general audio to communicate amongst the entire hospital throughout the entire hospital, but it can be used in the patient's room. It could be used in an operating room. As long as you can conceal the unit it, within certain situations, there are issues that you have to worry about too when it comes to uh, placement. Um, the microphone, like I said, is right here. It actually has a padding around to keep it sealed. So it reduces how much background noise is there. And once it's connected to the actual case top, it seals pretty well around there. So you don't have to worry about getting background noise, causing the microphone not to hear the particular subject that you're talking to. Uh, the speaker, even though it's small, is still pretty loud. I can say it will cover a room easily up to like a 20 by 20. Um, but if you put this in a small you know, patient room or you put this over a nurse station or if you put these strategically down the halls, you know, more than two or three of them per hall can easily send out that mass notification should you have to brace for an incoming amount of traffic, whether it be from patients coming in or whether it be from uh, some other kind of event that you have to make sure you get people out there. So this is a very simple speaker. It uses PoE power right here. If you notice, you can just plug in your cable right through the bottom and it's big enough that you can run most 
ethernet cables, whether it be Cat5, Cat6, right to it. And that will power and produce your data right to it. It is managed through the uh, internal system that's built into the speaker, but you can also use the Axis audio system as well. Uh, the nice thing about it is it does support things like the ACAP, which is Axis's own internal analytics system that you can actually upload different forms of software to it to manage different things. Um, you can also use a SIP protocol. So if you wanted to integrate it into a voice over IP system, it's there as well. So the speaker itself is very easy to use, simple to set up. And I can tell you whether you're in healthcare or if you decide to use this in a retail environment or a warehouse, it doesn't matter. The nice thing about it is Access has made this simple, easy to manage, easy to set up, and well, easy for me to describe. Thank you guys. And I hope you'll come back and join us again for another TechSnap video as we move forward through our healthcare series. Thank you again. Have a good day.